Sheesh. So only good experience Getting in a home workout, a solid home workout. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Crocky. This is quite the workout. Like, See, I don't know why people. I mean, I understand why, but I don't. I don't agree with the fact that people like you as a business coach use, time, and even I don't have access to a gym, or I don't have this or that, like, like I'm that, doing push-ups right now, yeah, I got some bands on my feet, and like, some I shoulders, to, and shit, but like, my it's just like, you. I got these and at the dollar store, it's really that simple, if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way, and yeah, I know, motivation's super low, like, I struggle to work out at home all the time, but... Learned a lot. If I really that, want it, I'm going to make it happen, right? So I'm here doing it right now. I'm listening to a podcast, so I'm learning. It it's, like it's a good time. It's a good guys. fucking time. So ah, I'm going to let that go. I used to be one of those guys. Over there. If that's even on them. Yeah, on that roof. I used to be one of those guys. Not doing framing, but doing construction on roofs. That used to be me. Still got the glasses to prove it. The construction's 101s. They're not the uh, the Viper, the pit Vipers, the construction site Vipers. They're the shittiest glasses on the planet. But the block shouldn't get in your eyes pretty well. That's about it. All right, I'm just waiting for the fucking bus. Is it coming? No. This thing's so slippery. Holy fuck. This is a Winnipeg bus shack. Really gross inside. Most are grosser. If you ever get the pleasure of being in one, try not to use the seat if you're wearing some clean clothes because it will get dirty. Probably have someone spit, a little bit of puke, probably someone huffing some shit in here because there was a few aerosol cans in here the other day. Now there's just some mysterious, mysterious uh, fluid on the wall there and something that looks like someone peed in the corner. So, bus shacks are awesome, guys. Winnipeg Transit at its finest. Gotta love it here. Fun fact, this bus is usually late, so I'm probably gonna miss my connecting bus. As I ski back in here, wee! Um, I'm probably gonna miss my connecting bus because this bus is usually freaking late. So that's awesome. I just about leaned against that glass. Not gonna do that today. Not today, Zayden. Not today. The bus is coming. The bus is coming. failed at that last time. That feels fucking good. I had to dump it. That's awesome. Whew. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> That's one. That's one. For you guys who don't know, I just grittied very horribly though.
Second bus shack, and yet we're right. There is some aerosol cans for huffing. So those bad boys are used for. See, so they got a Popeyes drink, which is kind of, you know, good for them. But overall, this is what they use. Oh, and there's broken glass there too. Nice, nice, nice guys. Classy, classy when a pig bus shack. Yes, 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 yes. What is up guys? We are here at one of my absolute favorite spots to go for a hike or a walk or just a cool trail. It's called Buns Creek. Me and my girlfriend love this place. Buns Creek Trail. Super cool. I don't know if you can see the sign down or not, but this place is the bomb. I don't know. It's pretty bright out. Hard to tell. Let me see if I can get a good shot. I don't know. I can't really tell. Anyways, this spot's the shit. I'm gonna just walk down this trail if I don't slide my ass down it because these shoes are slippery. I can like basically ski down this fucking bitch. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I almost just ate shit down that side. <laughs> That's cool. Usually right there is a little creek, a little water, but obviously winter time here in Manitoba, cold as balls. So you're not gonna see much water. It's gonna be all snowed in. So I got like 15 minutes, so I just figured I'd come check the trail out quickly, then head all over there and head home. So I just wanna show you guys this, cause this park is fucking the shit. Me and Tegan love coming for hikes here. But it's so cold, my hand's freezing, I'm putting my camera away. I'm just gonna walk this trail, and I'll touch back to you guys in a minute. Let's go. Something really cool this park does, man, is they do all their benches. Like, everyone I've walked past, walked past four so far, and they're all dug out like this. That's super fucking cool. Like, anyone can just come, chill. I mean, minus 25, minus 30, minus 40, who the fuck's chill down here? But, I mean, A for effort. Definitely an A for effort. Because that's, like, that's some cool shit, man. And I saw two people on this trail already. Super nice. Super welcoming. We had a conversation with one of them about just life and how our day is going. And shot the shit for about five minutes. Super cool. Man, nice people are nice. Hurt people hurt people. So if you're someone who's hurting people, you got some healing to do, my friend. Let's make the world a better place today. Let's get out there. Be nice to people, man. It costs you nothing to be nice to people. Just treat people with respect like you'd want to be treated in the world to be such a better place. Let's fucking go. It's a beautiful Friday. I want to night, baby. Let's go. What is up, fam? I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit this vlog about 3D energy drinks and energy drinks in general because I've always been a person who likes the carbonation of 3D or of energy drinks in general um, but I also like coffee but I like these more because I like cold drinks more so that kind of wins the battle for me so I usually go for an energy drink but with that being said, I've always looked for the healthier options because there are some that are, you know, bad for you in the sense that they they're overloaded in certain we're gonna say ingredients. Um, so they're overloaded in certain ones. So you gotta have to be careful of which ones you choose. Uh, the sugar content can be really bad. That's why I always choose no sugar. Um, and the ones that I really started to like were the Monster Ultras, the zero sugar ones. Those ones are really good. And then I eventually was able to try 3D Energy and. I fell in love with that instantly. It's like a better version, a better tasting version of the Monster Energy and it's just as clean. Um, and then I saw The Rock was coming out with them. I'm a huge Rock fan. I'm a huge Dwayne Johnson fan. Uh, Under Armour fan when he collabed with them, like that was just butter to me. Um, I've always loved that. I've always played sports, so Under Armour's been huge through my entire life. I've owned so many pairs of their gear, equipment. My bag's sitting right here. That's actually an Under Armour sitting right there. Um, I'm wearing shorts that are actually under armor right now. Uh, so, with that being said, like, I do like it. But, when it came to the Rocks Energy Drink, I was very, very disappointed. I know it's cleaner, it's clean energy, but it's just the taste, man. You gotta really work on your taste. Some of y'all may like it, I just personally don't. Um, I did let a few friends of mine sample it and they said the same thing. So, because my sister brought me some from the States, that's super nice for but I uh, didn't like the taste. It was like, it wasn't horrible, but it was like, if you were to drink it, it I'd be drinking it just because it was the rocks. 
not because I was like, mmm, this is tasty. And at the end of the day, I really think this 3D is tasty. So shout outs to Christian Guzman and his whole team for designing it, doing it, whatever, whatever you gotta do. No shade to The Rock. Like if this is a 10 out of 10, for me, The Rock's energy, Zoa, would probably be like a 6.5 out of 10 for flavor. Ingredient wise, I would much rather have The Rock's, but it's not, like I would say The Rock's is a, like a 10 out of 10 for the ingredients you'd want, but this is like an eight out of 10. So like for the flavor, and ingredient content, I'd much rather go with this one. So that's my choice, just putting it out there. But if you have a favorite energy drink and you wanna share it, share it in the comments below because I'd love to hear if there's anyone I could try because I'm always open to new ones um, that you may have if you're watching this from anywhere around the world. It'd be super cool to hear if there's like ones maybe I could get shipped here or cool ones. Other than that, that's my take on energy drinks. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs>